Hi, I'm Zarya Quinn, and I've been making games since I was three years old. Okay, wait, go back. How did I get started? When I was younger, I spent over seven years making games in a popular game engine called Scratch, but I always wanted to make something a little more professional. Once, I tried to learn Unity, but I had no idea what I was doing. It was overwhelming and honestly made me step away from game development for a while. Until about nine months ago. One day, I was scrolling on YouTube when I stumbled across a creator called Brackies, showing how to make a simple platformer. But not in Unity. It was a different engine, one I had never heard of before, called Godot. Around the same time, Unity was in a bit of drama, and I wanted to get back into game development. So I figured, why not give this new engine a try? And I did. And in somehow, some way I'll never know, it took me a whole month. But I really enjoyed it and decided to keep learning game development with Godot. Of course, learning wasn't exactly smooth sailing. After the Brackies tutorial, I found DevWorms channel, which helped, but I was still a beginner. So bug after bug, I soon felt completely lost. That's when I turned to Udemy. I was skeptical at first, learning game development through a course, but surprisingly the project-based learning seemed to work for me. And before long, I felt confident enough to build my first full game in Godot from scratch. The plan was simple. I wanted to make a 2D platformer with three different enemy types, all using assets from itch.io complete with a main menu, game over screen, and sound effects. I broke it down into a task list and got to work. First, I worked on character animations, player movement, and basic tile maps. Then I hit my first challenge, combat. Surprisingly, I didn't cover it in any of my courses. So I learned how to add combat by watching DevWorms hack and slash tutorial on YouTube. After several iterations and a few sprite swaps, I finally got it working. Each enemy now had its own animations and patrolling features. Next up, the levels. I'd start off with a basic tile map for testing, but now it was time to give each enemy their own level. For the skeletons, I gave them a big sewer-like area. I gave the mushroom enemies a smaller, darker area with moving platforms. And finally, I gave the goblins a hallway-like area with multiple ledges. And soon, the game was starting to look better. Now that the core mechanics were done, it was time to work on polish. I added coins for sound effect, a heads-up display to track them, a game over screen and a game windscreen, music for each level and the lobby, and finally, a background from itch.io for the main menu. Piece by piece, it was all coming together. And soon, I had finally made my first game in Godot. When I finally finished, it was awesome, and I felt extremely accomplished, as it took me over a week to make. I learned a lot through this process, especially about coding. Since then, game development has become my favorite part about computer science, and I immediately started making my next game. I totally recommend to anyone learning programming to try out game development if you haven't yet as it goes into a lot of logic with programming and is extremely fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think I should make next. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.